Welcome back to AP Psychology on Educator.com. This particular lesson is going to be examining the subfields in psychology. One of the things that you need to understand is that psychology has many facets. It has many parts. It has many uh, aspects to it. And so part of that is going to be basic research. And with basic research, it's going to be pure science that aims to increase the scientific knowledge base. Knowledge for knowledge's sake. It's a way to just kind of feed the curiosity of the scientists who are involved in it. And so, for example, finding out how hormones affect each other uh, in relation to eating and sleeping. Is there a problem we're trying to solve? No. We're just trying to find out. How does everything work? Then there's applied research, scientific study that aims to solve practical problems. And so one possibility might be motivation for public school teachers has been decreasing for quite some time. Identify the possible causes and recommendations for change. This would be uh, something for industrial organizational or social psychologists. Or the military has researched how to increase soldier effectiveness, effectiveness by reducing the need for sleep. They've been doing that research for quite some time. And if you've ever seen any films or documentaries on how they train the Navy SEALs or the, uh, the Army Rangers, you will know that sleep deprivation is one of those things that is an issue for the military, and they are attempting to do everything they can to solve that particular problem. Now, psychology has many facets, and the, the biggest aspect of psychology, the biggest group in psychology right now is the American Psychological Association. And there's a, a website called APA.org, and it reflects the history of psychology and the diversity of psychological offerings. And so when we, we, when we think about diversity in psychology, I'm about to show, you don't have to memorize all of these, but I'm about to show you how many different divisions there are in psychology right now. First slide here. You've got general psych, teaching, experimental, evaluation, measurement, and stats. You've got comparative. You've got developmental psychology, personality and social, social issues, aesthetics, clinical and consulting psychology. That's only the first page. I've got more. Industrial organizational, educational, school, counseling, public service, military, aging, engineering psych, rehab psych, consumer psych, theoretical and philosophical psych, history of psych, and more. Then you've got pharmacology, you've got psychotherapy, hypnosis, uh, humanistic, developmental disabilities, and intellectual and developmental disabilities, psych of women, psych of religion, psych of child and family policy, health, psychoanalysis, clinical neuropsychology, and more. The law, independent practice, family psych, um, LGBT issues, ethnic minority issues, media, sports, peace and conflict, group uh, psychology and group psychotherapy, addictions, psychology of men and masculinity. You saw a psych of women. Yes, there's also a psych of men. And then finally, international, child and adolescent, pediatric psychology, American Society for the Advancement of Psycho um, Pharmacotherapy, excuse me, Pharmacotherapy, uh, Pharmacology, that's going to be the use of psychoactive drugs to treat problems. And then finally, the most recent one, trauma psychology. So you see, psychology goes into many different areas. And so basically, if you can think of a human endeavor, a human activity, there's going to be psychology connected to it. I got